Got me a bad, yeah, I need a lad, yeah, we bout to turn up How the shit in the city, yo, who fucking with it, yeah, we bout to burn up Wanna show a feature, we sell out the bitches, so please get your funds up We bout to one, yeah, that's what you call a come up It's the come up, baby Stop that, keep on with that dissing Let my bad, bad boy done spin again This the price is right, no real of fortune Call a duty gang I don't need no perky or no bite down just to do a drill You ain't caught a shot, nobody Real steppers don't break Yo, yo, yo We back at it again, man For another episode of Keeping It Real On the Come Up Man, I got two special guests with me today, man Definitely Helen out of Carolinas, man Definitely some names to be looking out for Got the artist, got the manager, you know what I'm saying, in the building with me, man. Y'all, please give a round of applause for my man, Ted Eula, and Mr. Zeke over there, man. Big yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glad to have y'all in the building with me today. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. How y'all feeling? Real. How y'all feeling? Shit. Yeah. Feeling good. <laughs> y'all said the same time. Y'all know y'all been kicking for a long time. <laughs> Feel blessed to be here, man. For real. Yeah, hey, man. Feel blessed to be here. What about you, Zeke, man? How you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good, man. Feeling good, good. Yeah. feeling good, yes sir, yes sir, man. So talk to me, man. Where y'all was from? What y'all about? What y'all got going on? Shit, Seneca, man. Seneca, South Carolina. Okay. Going to raise, you know, little backwoods, you know. <laughs> they call it a little country back road. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So y'all, I guess y'all went to DW. Nah, I'm yeah, Seneca High School. Seneca High School. Yeah. Okay, okay. If I'm, is, is Dame in, in Seneca though? Uh, uh, that's in Clemson. Clemson. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So like I'm in, a, I'm, near, I'm near the same area though, right? Yeah. About 10 yeah. minutes away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cross the water. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alone, so you just cross it a little more. See, I'm Clemson fan. I am. He said it all the time. You know he is. Yeah. Now I'm a Oregon Ducks. Yeah, I like Oregon. Yeah, y'all doing all right this year? Y'all doing all right Clemson? I don't know about it. Nah, Oregon, 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 yeah, mm, gotta work after this, man. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ain't been asleep. Grind <laughs> don't stop. Grind mm -hmm. don't stop, man. Mm -hmm. So, man, what got y'all going, man? Let's talk about you, Ted. What got you into doing music, man? Um, when I was younger, man, uh, at my grandma's house, my uncle got locked up. I was like 10 or 11. And I found this little rap book. Started reading through it. You know, I'm trying to you know, figure out what, what he talking about. So as soon as I figured out what he was talking about, I was like, let me put my little spin on. So, you know, I started rapping from now, but I didn't start recording until I was like 15, 16, something like that. But, you know. So you said you started rapping when you were 15, 16. That's when you started really taking it serious? Yeah, not not taking it serious. That's when I started, you know, recording. Yeah, but, so I, you, but, you, but from, from when you said you was seven, no, 11. 11, 11. 10 or 11. 10 or 11, that's when you really, you really, you started reading around books, getting yeah. to it, but then yeah. 16 when you really got in. Okay, so what was your first studio you went to? Um, My little cousin Ocho, yeah, shout out to Ocho, Ocho the engineer. Um, okay. He was, uh, had a little, you know, little setup, a little laptop, a microphone in the booth, you know, styrofoam it out, and then recording, just recording, recording, recording. We had like two albums. I was just like, yo, bro. Like, but he take this serious. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was just telling him that, you know, telling him something and not taking, you know, my own advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, motivating, but yeah, you got I'm hey, motivating yeah, him, yeah, but I wasn't motivating right. myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 16, how was your first song? How it come out? Man, it came out good. <laughs> like, you know the name of it? <laughs> it was a little throwaway track. Yeah, it, it was a freestyle. It was so, a freestyle, so he just did it. Go. So after that, man, was you like confident to keep going with it, or it was just kind of like you were still playing around around that time? I was still playing around. I was just trying to find myself, like find my voice, you know, instead of doing all that yelling. Because when I started rapping, he'd tell you, I was yelling like Waka Flocka. I was going dumb. Man. Hey, I ain't about to beat the mic up. Man, I was going dumb on the mic. Just smack the whole mic off. Yeah, listen, yeah, my fault, ain't me too. Exactly. <laughs> little too energized over here. Yeah, what you talking about? Calm down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so Zeke, so y'all been cool for a while, I guess, man. Psh, man, since first grade. First, first grade. grade. Yeah, elementary school. Yeah, elementary school. Yeah. Elementary yeah. school. So, so when he got started, sixteen, you was up. Yeah, sixteen, I was up. 
Yeah. So how was it, man, when you was in there on the walk of flocking, man? How was like, <laughs> <laughs> man going in? He was just, he was crazy on the tracks, and then I ain't gonna lie, he was really living with, he was rapping about, so mm -hmm. he yeah. crazy on the tracks, he's really doing crazy. Yeah. <laughs> crazy two, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Nah, man. Well, uh, so you say y'all, y'all been, y'all been cool since elementary school. Yeah. So, man, what made you want to become a man? Like, how did that even come about? With you just saying, I'm gonna be your manager, and hey, look, I'm a rap. Like, how did that come about? I mean, like he said, he just started rapping, and I'm. I mean, I just, I start. I see opportunity in people. You feel me? He's the first artist I seen opportunity in. You feel me? So when. He wanted to do something, I'm like, I'm behind you, you know? So it started really just off of support, you feel me? Like, you my homeboy, I'm gonna be with you, you feel me? But then I really felt like, okay, you might can do something with it, so let's really take some serious into it. Yeah. We were serious. So you said you were serious, you're like, you know what, okay, I'm, I'm gonna get you up on my wing, let's get it. Yeah. So, what age was that when y'all decided to, to become a clique, as far as the music business? What, about 21? That's when, that's when we was in a little, little crew, low key family, right? About twenty one. That was our twenty one yeah. era. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, that was. That's when we really started getting serious, yeah. though. Like. So as so we, so sixteen. You won. So so. It's, how old you now? Thirty, I'd be thirty. So okay, so okay, well, happy birthday, bitch! All right, bro. So, so when did you get serious? Like I know you said sixteen, still playing around. When did you get serious for rapping? Okay, I see. It took me to twenty-five. I ain't bad though. Twenty-five, you still. That's when you really got serious, and what pushed you to be like, all right, I'm gonna take it serious. How many times you have to tell them? <laughs> too many, and then, too many. And then, then sometimes, you know, I'd um, I be uh, at my brother's house, and he'll be like, "But stop all that yelling, bro. <laughs> you can do better than that. Like, come on, yeah. tighten up." So I was just like, "Yo," and then brother be like, "Man, listen, yo, stop all that yelling. Slow <laughs> down a little bit." Yeah. Yo, yeah. so once I did that, he was just like, "Yo, you found yourself. So yo, we gonna push." We gonna push. So I was just like, "Fuck it, let's go." So like when you was it hard when you was like oh, I got a tone I got a tone down like what was it trying to find that that right tone for yourself? Cause yeah. I know a lot of artists do that too though when they first get in they just be so aggressive but it just be like they just I guess they think in their head like I gotta be like I gotta go so hard from niggas like nah dog just relax and it's gonna sound way better. Yeah, it took me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I was so adapted to it. It took me a long time. Like I finally started toning my body down. Like three months after, and then it, like I was like, I can go down a little bit more. Like let me rap like I'm talking, but put some aggression in behind it. So I did that. And I'm just like, okay, perfect pitch. Yeah. Even Ocho, you know, Ocho got me right too. He a tip, bro. And okay. also he engineer yeah. too, right? Yeah. yeah. So how was his face when you were in there, young man? But I, he he just be like. Well, you possess, like, <laughs> you just go in there angry for what? You come out happy, but go in there and be angry. I'm so, like, bro, I don't know, bro. Yeah, it's so, the way looking yeah. for you. It's like yeah. steam off. Yeah, so I told him, like, you know, let me know what's the perfect level. Like, find that pitch for me so I can know. And when he told me, he was just like, that's it. I'm like, bet. So, we went with that. I let him hit. He was like, yo, bro. He said, you found yourself. He said, oh. yeah, he said, you finally found the volume. So, I'm gonna keep it at that level. Hopefully, you know. You know hopefully, I keep it at that level. Right. I don't know. I might switch it up, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what we're gonna see how see how it gonna go. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so 2019, you said uh, y'all had a group. What was the name of the group? Here? Yeah, that was, it was 2016. 2016. Yeah, 2016. 2016 that's when we got established as low key family. It was about. 12 of us though. It was deep. Yeah, it was, deep. A big, it, was it was a big group to where uh, that's when I branched off and made my own label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's crazy. A lot of a lot of artists start off big like that. That'd be I mean, y'all deep. Yeah, deep. But it only end up with about two or three people. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I started the group, you know what I'm saying? How did it go as far as like dealing with a lot of minds and a lot of opinions? Man. Well with me it's 
it was a handful because it was a lot of young, young talent. So they still was trying to learn to listen, you know, like yeah. they're heels, but they're not listening yeah, to not the listen. older dudes. So uh, that's where we had to branch it off a little bit. Okay, I do maybe three or four artists. My other homeboy do the other three or four. Yeah, I had to split it up in the groups. Uh huh. I got a chaperone, y'all. <laughs> Three y'all come with me. Y'all go with that one. Hell, you know what I mean? We're going to figure it. We're going to come back together when we get it all figured out. Right, right, right. So, man, I've been rapping for a little while now. Um, Zeke, I know you've been in match for a little while now, man. What's some songs? Like, what's your favorite project you've put out so far? Man, my favorite project. Uh, Gotta be Devilish Ted, but Pete is dope. I looked on Apple, right? Take my name, man. Everything got dropped. Come. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. It out. yeah, so come. Except for two songs. And it's um one with Four Four Water and uh one with Jay Smooth called uh, Step Brothers. Okay. Those are the only two songs that's up right now. Okay. But my personal project, come. Gone. Come. Single, come. But you can get it back up though, right? I don't want to because that right there gives me an opportunity to, to, to rebrand myself. Okay. So okay. I got I got some I got a new song and I'm trying to stick with that, uh with that for for a little minute. You know. Okay. Do that style for a little second. Okay, cool. Switch it cool. Up. So man, what are the styles when you go into the to the booth? Like what is your vibes, man, you looking for as far as like what gets you going, what gets you in the mood as far as you know, if it'll bring the best up in the night or the day. Ooh. It depends on you know, who I listen to or how I'm feeling. When I go in there, sometimes like I go in there, I don't, I don't write, so I just go in there and I just start freestyling, like, and I just listen to it and I was like, nah, I don't like, and I, and I just start thinking of a song in my head, like, I like Big Scar, like I like, I like his R.P. 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 Big Scar, I like his flow, I like his, flow. I like his vibe. So, and then, um, YTB Fat, Yo. hey, they were right there, beat. I like him, I follow him too. Yeah, so you, you go to the show with the gang? Nah, nah, I work third, so I, I work seven days a week. <laughs> yeah, I see, uh, I see, I see, uh, Ricky be with him all the time, shot by Ricky, is he be, Yo. uh... Shout out to shot by Ricky, hey, he shot with my videos too. Yeah, 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 I see, he been right with him with uh, YTB Fat, though. So, yeah, you saying the vibes really depend on the mood of other artists that you listen to. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, who's been inspiring to you as far as before you know what got you going? Like, who's been inspiration? That's a good question. Inspiration. <laughs> um, I'm a fan of Jew, Jew Money. R.I.P. Jew Money. Yeah, R.I.P. Jew Money. And, um, Scud, shout out to Scud. Oh, Scud. Like, I listen to him and I be like, bro, bro, fuck, you know, I relate to what he, you know, what he talking about. So sometimes I feed off of him, but I don't try to copy him. Like, I, I relate to his pain, so I just try to go in there and try yeah. to, you know, like, you see how he flow and how he calm and relax when he go in there. He, 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 he speak that pain, but he ain't, yeah. you know, going too hard. He, he ain't he going mellow too hard. Him. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, mellow yeah, yeah. So that's how I try to do so in my song. Like, I try to be mellow. Yeah. So try to be just try to be relaxed, be yeah. good. So I try to try to try to try to fall back from the block of flock and yeah, ain't going in yeah, too hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. So any any um upcoming tours, anything you got going on, any upcoming singles, projects you got coming out? Um, I got a project dropping soon, you know, it'll be here before the end of the year. Um tour, we working on that right now, you know. Yeah, we working on that right now. I'm trying to get that in motion. Um What we got going? I mean, it's really your project uh, uh, for plug. Oh yeah, yeah. Plug, R.I.P. Plug. You know, it's my big brother. You know. Um. Are you trying to rebrand yeah. yourself? Yeah, I'm trying. So, to, yeah, also trying to rebrand myself, man. Like, so why? Let well, me ask. So you say you gonna rebrand yourself? What's the, what's the reason? Like, was it because the music was wiped off, or you just feel like, man, it's time to just reinvent the style? What you know? what you just said and then also like I feel like I can make you know better music better quality you know, the quality that I was getting you know it was it was, it was trash, trash. Yeah, it was trash and then 
you know, beef wasn't bought. So I'm just like, nah, I, I ain't messing with it because, you know, who to say, what if I make it? And then all these beats that I done got off the internet, they come back hit me in the face. Boom, hey, listen, you owe me this for that. Boom, you owe me this for that. Uh-uh, I ain't got time for that. Like, I, I ain't got time for no lawsuits. Back yeah. to back to back to back to back to back. Cause nah, all that stuff, yeah. you know, copyright. Yeah. Like, I ain't got the rights to it. So I'm just like, yo, I'm glad, I'm glad all that got wiped off. So, so you starting off, what about like, so, I mean, you said the beats and everything, what are the producers you want to work with to rebrand yourself? Um, one for show is a uh, Rick Flair. I show. Yeah, shout out to Rick Flair. Um, and then uh, one of my little homies from Seneca, who is Lat. Hey, he five too. He five. Yeah, he five. He five. Yeah, 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 yeah. About time. And then um, Carter X. Hey, Carter beats hard. Like. Yeah, Carter X, he, he gas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got the tap in. And they all, he's Carter, he's from Ryan also. Yeah, he's from Edison. Okay, okay. Yeah, Carter okay. Edison. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. He, so, he, he the one that did that song um, for uh, Rich Home type of way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he did that beat, so, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. There's a lot of, a lot of artists, man. There's a lot of producers and artists. Um, even like Huncho, man, did the, did the project, did the, not project, but did the song for Neil. Um, you know, you got like days, I just a lot of artists, a lot of producers, man, around the area. Um, even Cross, what's it? I want to say his name, Cross Tracks. He's from uh, Anderson, too. He do a lot of producing. Oh, K okay, do a lot of producing. He did a uh, side high and all that, do a lot of producing for them. Yeah. But, um, man, it's a lot, a lot of talent, man. A lot of talent, a lot of people tap in with. But, yeah, so, uh, what's an artist you would like to work with? I know a producer you were saying you like to work with. What's an artist um, that you would love to collab with or even a collaboration project with? If they want to collab, okay, cool, boom, but I'm not going to, you know, just throw myself out there. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, I ain't going to do it like nah, that. Nah, nah, you ain't got to, man. I'm going to just stay in my lane. If, if they if they hear me and be like, hey, bro, you hard, like, let, let's work. I'd be like, all right, bet, come on, you five too, come on, let's go. Like, we can do it like that, but me just, you know, reaching out. Nah. Nah, I feel you, man, I feel you. So, man, the girl, man. Is it anything like merch you got coming out? Any upcoming events, man? Is he anything he got he going on that you need to slap in the back of the head? Like, but remember what you got? Ain't got this going on. Anything you got? You got to say? I mean, merchandise bands made. That's coming real soon before Christmas. I'm about to have hoodies, sweatshirts, hats, all that. You know. And then when summertime comes, t-shirts, tank tops. Yeah, it's just coming soon. It'll be on. On our little Instagram, bands made twenty three. Anything, anything, Ted? Any, any upcoming projects? Anything you got dropping soon on these folks, man? Man, got a lot. Got, got some, uh, got some merch got, uh, about to drop soon. You know, uh, LRB. You know, shout out to my little bro Rocco. You know, Rocco four times. I go look him up. Um, then, uh, you know, I got the uh, plug the narrow dropping. Not this week, but next week. A little setback. And then uh, I got another big state dropping uh, November 24th. Well, November 23rd, the day before Thanksgiving. Then uh, the day on Christmas, I got plug dropping again, reloading. I'm going to give y'all a little, you know, old six songs. Give y'all 10 new songs. Mm -hmm. 10 new songs, yeah. yeah, yeah. 10 new songs. Before Slap them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be reloaded, <laughs> reloaded, loaded, fully loaded. Yeah, yeah. man, make sure y'all go get that when it come out, man. We're gonna be promoting it. Make sure you go get it, man. But look, man, I know all good things must come to an end, man. But before we get up out of here, I always like to get a minute of motivation, man, for the people. It's to give them something to go to sleep on the plant in their brain, man. So if you don't mind, drop some jewels and some facts on them right quick, man. If you wanna chime in too, Zeke, man, y'all make sure y'all do that for them, please. Man, listen. If it's something out there that you want, go get it. If people tell you you can't do what you want to do in life, you can. Like, man, I work seven days a week. I rap. You know, I go broke just to be a rapper. 
you know, like go broke for videos, promo. Like, it's gonna pay off in the long run. Like, if people tell you, you no good, take that, make that motivation run with you know, make, make it make you wanna go harder. Um, like, just keep going, keep doing what you're doing. Like, I've been doing this since I was 25. Taking it serious, I'm about to be 31. People say when you in your 30s, hang it up. Like, just hang it up. But I'm going to keep going because it's something I like doing. It's a dream. It's a passion. It's a passion. Like, I love it. So if I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. But, you know, I went out with a bang. You try, though. Yeah, at least I tried. I went out with a bang. Yeah, yeah. Like, when you put the work in, you get yeah. tired to get it. You're going to yeah. make it as long as you're working hard, though. Exactly, exactly. So that's all I care about. You know, if I had kids, they can be like, wow, my dad was a good rapper. You know? Yeah. He didn't make it, but you know his music was good enough for him to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's the say was the man make it? I mean, being signed, signed on the deal on the mean you made it, you might be even more broke. So you know what I mean? Yo, making man, it might be yo. you just being happy doing what you do. Exactly. I'd rather so, be broke than to be unhappy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I swear. <laughs> Zeke, man, what's good? Any, any, any jewels over there for you? Man, don't let nobody stop you from doing what you want to do. Like you can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> you put your mind to it. Just go for it. The world can't stop you for shit, y'all. <laughs> you nah, can't nah, stop you. Can't nobody stop you but yourself. Exactly, yeah. that's it. For sure, for sure, for sure exactly. man. But well, I appreciate y'all boys coming through and chopping up with me, man. Where can they find y'all at? Man, you can find me on Instagram at, you know, Ted Yola, you know, capital T, E D, capital E U L E R. You know, it's a space in between that, you know. Yeah, follow me on the ground, man. Stay tuned for what I got going on. I promise you, y'all gonna love it. I promise you. Yes, sir. Yes, promise sir. You. Yes, sir. Zeke, man, where they can find you with it, dog? Yeah, you can follow the business page, Bands May B A N D Z M A D E, with the number 23. And then you can follow me, a whole lot of bands. <laughs> yeah, a whole lot, whole lot, of, lot, of, yeah. lot of bands. Yeah. You know what I mean? Y'all nice. heard him. Y'all go tap in with him, man. And you and let them know what what day the tape coming out. Remind them again, man. Remind them one more time. The tape is supposed to drop tomorrow, but instead of tomorrow, it's gonna drop next weekend. So next Sunday, next Sunday, y'all tap in. Please tap in. Tap Please. in with them. Tap Please. in. And y'all know where to find me at, man. Keeping it real on the come up. On Facebook and Instagram, man. The Come Up Radio Station on Facebook and Instagram and all other platforms, man. If you got Android or you got Apple, man, or maybe you got the government Obama <laughs> phone, man. If you got an app store, go download the app, man. The Come Up Radio Station. Tune in 24 7 music, interviews, and all in between, man. Come get your commercial, come get your sponsorship, come get it all. We're doing it all over here, man. We're doing it big. So tap in with us. And until next time, man, we'll see y'all, man. Peace. Just got me a bag, yeah, I need a land, yeah, we about to turn up. How the shit in the city, I'm moving fucking with it, yeah, we about to burn up. Wanna show a feature, we sell out the bitches, so please get your funds up. We about to up one, yeah, that's what you call a come up. It is the come